All right, solving this problem, uh, what I'm going to do is take the con. I'm going to use the left to make it convert to the right. So I'm going to have 1 minus sine theta. I'm going to take the conjugate of what's on the bottom. So I get 1 minus sine theta all over 1 plus sine theta, 1 minus sine theta. And what I get is 1 minus sine theta on top squared and then um, this becomes 1 minus sine squared theta because the middle terms cancel out and again I 1 minus sine squared and then the 1 minus sine squared converts to cosine squared theta So, all right, so what happens here is we kind of have what's going on here, like an a squared over b squared, which is the same thing as a over b squared. So in this instance, um, I can just put, I can do this, I can do one over cosine theta minus sine theta over cosine theta. It's not violating anything. I just, I split the two cosines apart. So one over cosine. Actually, I take that back. <coughs> I know what to do. So what we do here is we do one over cosine squared and we have the one minus sine theta. And then we have minus sine We have this, and then we can break this down further into one over cosine theta. I'm getting there, sorry. Minus sine theta over cosine theta times one over cosine theta minus sine theta over cosine theta, which finally this is secant and this is tangent. So this is simply just, they're the same thing. So it just becomes secant theta minus tangent theta squared. All right, that proves it. I hope that helps you out. Sorry about that little mess up there. All right, thanks.